today I would like to share with you some thoughts about expectation. No, it's not going to be a TEDx lecture, but a practical session. And before we get started, another no. Unfortunately, this chic balcony does not belong to me. You see, approximately two months back, I bought a pack of seeds called Balcony Mix. And the picture implied that out of those seeds will come out an abundance of flowering plants, like in this image over here. One month ago, I decided that my balcony temperatures are suitable enough for planting, so I dumped the seeds into a large pot. I was expecting to see plants such as petunias, sweet peas, campanulas, marigolds, or even maybe some dwarf carnations. Although those seeds were at least four different types, I had only two types germinating and they look like this. Please don't mind the mold on the top of the soil. It is because we had a few cold days in the last week and I couldn't air the balcony as much as I wanted. So the levels of moisture have increased in this enclosed space. These particular seeds that you can see in the image right over here were given to me by one of my colleagues. Thank you so much, B. He bought them, I think, from eBay. And they are identical with those emerged from the seed mix. What I plan to do with the seedlings over here is to transfer them from the improvised seed starters into what it was supposed to be my large balcony mix pot. The seedlings right over here, on the right side, are marigolds. Let me focus a little bit. I would say they developed quite nicely. As you can see, these chocolate holders are quite good at being seed starters. They are deep enough, but not too deep. On the left side, we have some anonymous plants. Unfortunately, I have absolutely no clue what type of plants are those. I just call them grass. Now, in the back of my working space, you can see a few calamansi or calamondin citrus seedlings that are a little bit in trouble. They have a sort of deficiency, I don't know exactly which kind, so I place them here on my potting space in order to better monitor them. But let's go back to the job on hand. What you can see over here is the pot where I planted the balcony mixed seeds. They only came out one side of the pot and I wonder why. These are the marigolds I told you about and nothing else that I could spot. Only mold on the top of the soil and I know it does look ugly, sorry about that. Actually, there are some super tiny, small, very, very, very small, extremely small green leaves trying to emerge. But they seem not to grow anymore, as it has been a couple of weeks since I have spotted them. The marigolds from the chocolate starter will go over here, in the balcony mix pot. And yes, I will sacrifice those emerging plants, as to be very honest with you, I have no more expectations from them. If you look closely, there seems to be a slight difference in the appearance of the marigolds. They might be very well of different kinds. As an interesting fact, marigolds are closely related to a plant called Calendula officinalis, which is an extremely appreciated medicinal plant. What we are going to do now is to very very gently repot the marigold, marigold seedling. These two were just taken out from the chocolate holder. Look at their roots, they are very very frail and I don't want to damage them. Therefore, I have to be very careful in picking them up and placing them in their new home. I'm using, as you may have guessed, my mom's old teaspoon. If you watched my previous videos, you know the story. Now, if you look closely to these seedlings, they are strong enough for me to hold them in between my fingers when moving them from here to there, 
but in order to ensure their 100% survival rate, I'm trying to do be to be as gentle as I can, both with their stems and their root systems. These marigolds are not the citrus seedlings I'm used to handle. They are not three seedlings, with strong roots, but these are frail annuals, and you have to treat them accordingly. In the process of repotting them, I'm trying to figure out where they will be placed in their new home. I removed the mold part, the mold top part of the soil in the pot and now I'm trying to see if all these marigolds will fit into their new home. And it looks like they will, with a little bit of arrangement to be done. I think I'm gonna discard this because it has too much mold, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the old soil, just a little bit. I will have to do this off camera though, because I will need to use my two hands. Very very delicate garden work, I'm back. It turns out that I have a pot full of marigolds. And it looks quite nicely. I love it and I can't wait for the plants to grow some more and to flower. Indeed, in the process I disturbed some of the seedlings originally in the pot, but I believe I can fix it by adding some extra soil. When you repot frail seedlings like this, always make sure that at the end of the process they are firmly standing upwards and their roots are perfectly covered by soil. Otherwise, when you will water them, you are going to have some casualties as they will tilt down and eventually rot. Now let's take a look at the grass-like plant. If you do know what type of annual plant this is, pretty please drop a comment below and enlighten me. I'm very very curious, I really don't know what this is. You know guys, looking at this grass-like plant, look at it, I'm trying to focus here. I think I might have used the wrong words in describing the marigolds as being frail. By comparison, they were not frail at all. This grass-like plant is so... Well, I have no words to describe it. The roots are th tinier than tiny and the leaves are as thin as a thread. It is also very easy to pull them out of the ground as their root system is not anchoring them well enough. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I don't know where I'm gonna place them. I don't know if they do well with other plants. Look at them. Can you recognize them? If you do, again, please leave a comment below. After a little bit of consideration, I have decided to place them all together in a plastic cup. And... These are all the plants I gathered. And I figured that, you know, if they are not demanding with all the space necessary for their root systems, why not just place them in a smaller spot I can find, which is a plastic cup. I don't think these roots will grow too large in size. They can't. By the look of them, they can't. Look. The, 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 the leaves are so thin, they are falling through my fingers. 
I hope you guys can see and try to feel what I'm experiencing over here. A very, very frail type of plant. And all this will go into the plastic cup. I actually looked for inspiration around me, trying to figure out if I should place them with other plants that I have over here in the balcony, but at the end I opted for a plastic cup just for them. You might know that I'm a fan of community pots and I occasionally experiment with that, but these grass seedlings they seem too frail to experiment with. I was thinking to place them maybe in between my uh, polka dot plants, they are there in the back, they are cute and pink and the green leaves would be a very nice um, contrast, but I don't want to disturb the polka dots as well. And my citrus, they are too dear to me to try to give them a companion they might not like. Here we are, the cup is full, so to speak, it's full with these no-name seedlings. I tried to make them all be anchored as well as I could in the soil, in the ground. They seemed anchored enough right now. I tapped the soil very, very gently and watered it a little bit and improvised the water collection saucer look, this one this one was not stuck properly I have to find something like, um, like a wood stick to press it into the soil otherwise I'm gonna for surely break it so guys if you have annuals in a balcony mix seed pot oh look what i found i found the end of a toothbrush but going back to the lesson learned over here uh, be patient be patient with your seeds and don't place them into the soil too early i think the temperatures in my balcony were a little bit too low for all the seeds in the pack to germinate so maybe that's where I did wrong hopefully you enjoyed this lesson this indoor gardening lesson and I really really hope that I'm gonna hear from you in the comments below don't forget every weekend I'm uploading every Sunday to be more precise I'm uploading a new video with the experiments around the house until then, please do press the subscribe button, it helps me a lot. And stay safe all around the world where you are watching me from. Bye bye and happy gardening!